Hi, my name is Rod Stein. I'm a pediatrician with Westchester Health in Yorktown Heights, New York. And I'm just going to talk to you a little bit about antibiotics. Um, most people know what antibiotics are and most people know when you need them, but this is just to clarify. Um, and I think the most important thing to get out of this talk is that antibiotics are good for bacterial infections. They don't work for viral infections. And uh, so part of the thing we try to do as doctors is try to determine which is a bacterial infection and which is a viral infection. And what things antibiotics will help and what things they won't. So I figure let, let's start at the top um, why you might go to the doctor. So the first thing you might go to the doctor for would be an upper respiratory infection. So an upper respiratory tract infection is a viral infection that uh, comes with runny nose, cough, maybe fever, and it is almost 100% of the time viral, and an antibiotic will not help. The exception would be a sinusitis. So how do you know you have a sinusitis versus just a regular old upper respiratory tract infection? Um, the difference is duration. The uh, Academy of Pediatrics says that a sinusitis is defined as a upper respiratory infection that is lasting for 7 to 10 days and getting worse or 10 to 14 days and not showing any signs of improvement. That is all you need to know about a sinusitis. Um, you don't need to ca get a CAT scan or an x-ray or an MRI. You don't need a tube stuck up your nose. You just need to know how long it's going on for and the symptoms that you have. So moving down, uh, you might wind up at a doctor with ear pain. So ear infections. Uh, ear infections uh, generally occur two to three days into a cold. Um, the cold blocks up your plumbing, a bacteria comes along, and you get an ear infection. The uh, caveat to that is that studies, good studies, have shown that 80 to 90 percent of ear infections will go away on their own without an antibiotic. So what we generally do is um, if we see a child who has ear pain and it's been under 24 hours, we, we watch, we wait. You take Motrin or Tylenol, and if the pain is persisting for 24, 48 hours, we give an antibiotic. Um, otherwise, it's, it's just going to go away. Which brings us now down to the throat, tonsillitis. Tonsillitis is a descriptive word. It means inflammation of your tonsils, and that's it. It doesn't tell you the cause. The only bacterial cause of tonsillitis that we really get concerned about is strep. So if you go to the doctor and they do a strep test and it's strep, you need an antibiotic. Otherwise, tonsillitis is viral. It could be adenovirus, mono, and it's important sometimes to determine what it is. But if it's not strep, don't need an antibiotic. Um, bronchitis, one of my favorites. Bronchitis is a cold. There's two, essentially. There's two kinds of bronchitis. There's acute bronchitis, which is a cold, and then there's chronic bronchitis. Chronic bronchitis you'll see in, in people who have emphysema, who are smokers. Maybe they have cystic fibrosis. Those people may need an antibiotic. But acute bronchitis is a cold. Don't need an antibiotic for it. Um, pneumonia, moving further down the respiratory tract. Pneumonia, um, you would need an antibiotic. <laughs> and a lot of times pneumonia is viral. It's just that we can't make the determination based on what we hear or even what you see in an x-ray sometimes. And so we wind up treating everybody with an antibiotic. Um, some of those people might get better without it, but again, we can't tell, so we treat. Uh, there are a few things that you would almost never need an antibiotic for. One of them is swimmer's ear. Swimmer's ear occurs when you get water in your ear canal, a bacteria comes along, takes hold, and uh, you get an infection. It can be terribly painful, um, but eardrops work better than oral antibiotics. The other thing I could think of that you may, would almost never need an antibiotic for would be uh, diarrhea, uh, a stomach virus. Best to figure out the cause rather than taking an antibiotic, because sometimes you can take an antibiotic when you have diarrhea and you can make yourself worse and cause complications. So that's about it. Those would be the conditions you would need an antibiotic for. Um, thank you for listening and call if you have any questions.